Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. will be a super helpful video, guys, to any of you uh, having a Ford C Max, guys, a Ford Fusion or Lincoln MKZ. It could be any of these cars because they're built on the same platform. If you guys have problems uh, with uh, intake temperature sensor and you need to test intake temperature sensor, stay with us. We'll explain how to do that. It takes only a few, a few minutes, guys. You don't need to take anything apart. You can do it from the comfort of sitting in the driver's seat and find out, okay, if the intake temperature sensor sensor is working or not. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single uh, car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. So if you need to buy a new intake temperature sensor, any parts, tools, you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let me show you what we have here now guys, we need to find the OBD port, okay, which is located right here under that cover, we are going to connect our scanner, I will put the link in the description of the video below guys, those are so affordable and they are so little powerful scanners, but they are very cheap that what I did, I bought a few and I keep in the glove box of my vehicles guys, I will put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from, uh, now uh, what I recommend, okay, to go ahead actually and turn the ignition switch on without starting the car where the lights come on you're going to select obd here we'll select that okay let me just hold it because it's a little bit of limited room here okay it's working on this thing now and uh, it should be any minute okay uh, now that's uh, what it says mu codes found zero problems do you want to select previously recorded data we say yes it's working now we're going to select the engine module here scroll down in our case yours may look different depending on the make and model you have now here we're going to select guys okay live data we scroll down to select live data select this one it's uh, going to read and uh, tell us exactly okay uh, exactly uh, which parameters we can check and all that stuff it will load it and i will show you in a second okay where we can test sensors see live data see parameters and all these things so it's almost ready now it will take probably the whole procedure 20 30 seconds we're going to select view live data you can select custom data everything you just a single thing if you want to see or complete data i'll click complete data set and you can see we have pages and pages of things that you can check here guys check it out so 15 20 to 29 so quite a few guys parameters that can be checked here including the evap system which in some cases it's uh, not easy to diagnose guys so let's continue now next in order to test guys okay the uh, intake temperature intake air temperature sensor on uh, fo that forward uh, c max here or fusion uh, Lincoln MKZ, we're going to start the car to where it runs. If you have a hybrid, okay, uh, if it's a regular car, you just start it. If it's a hybrid, you need to start the car to say that it's ready to drive. And uh, when it's ready to drive, you can uh, click, guys, okay, in the system check. Uh, you can see, uh, uh, you can go ahead and give it gas until the engine fires up and keep giving it gas, okay until it fires up uh, you can turn the ev off okay ev or ev off ev later 95 percent plug-in energy reserve so now what we can do the engine is running and if we look right here we'll be able to find guys that the coolant temperature uh, right now 13 14 15 you can see 16 17 it's climbing uh, 18 19 deg degrees celsius so we're going to go to the next page uh, the rpms of the car okay you can see are right now 11 50 70 because it's cold we just started it okay that's the graph you can select if i have the car up they will go up as well uh, so i'll go back and we're going to select iat this is intake air temperature right here guys and if it's showing uh, something towards uh, outside close to the temperature outside uh, that will be great in our case it says 14 degrees celsius which uh, fahrenheit okay we can actually even go back and change the units but outside uh, temperature is about uh, about 12 to 13 degrees right now intake always will be just a little bit warmer you can select that one and if you have the car up okay 
Sometimes when you have the car up, it may just drop a little bit the temperature, but when the engine starts warming up, it may climb. But that intake air temperature, guys, okay, needs to be almost the same as the uh, temperature outside. If it says uh, uh, negative or zero or really high numbers, that means that it's a bad sensor, guys, okay, if it's not responsive. So almost close to what's the temperature outside right now. So you can see definitely the engine is warming up, so it climbed to 15 now because it will be just sucking a little bit warmer air from under the uh, under the hood guys so uh, that's how you test the intake air temperature sensor on Ford C-Max for Fusion Link and MKZ hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time